and I'm gonna show you tonight that the World of Tanks works for the Mac. Well, it already works for the Mac, but um, this is an updated video with uh, includes uh, the fix for uh, Apent uh, for World of Tanks Apent Zero, and also uh, includes um, well the the boost for the people uh, who didn't uh, apply the the fix or what you can better can say upgrade yet. Um, well, first on the website, all kind of cool stuff, lots of games, lots of Mega and Six games, but especially Windows games. Now, I'm going to focus at the moment on a specific game, uh, World of Tanks. Well, uh, you can get the World of Tanks uh, game or wrapper from the uh, game page using uh, the simulators, and then on the simulators, you can do the, the World of Tanks. Well, here I already a little bit described, uh, described the, the issue here, and um, uh, as you can see here, you still need uh, the installer file, which you can get from here, from the World of Tanks. Go here, then uh, you'll see here, you can download the, well, this is for North America, but if you want to have the European version, then, uh, well, you can uh, go to the European side. Well, um, at least you have to need, uh, well, here's the European region. Um, at least you have to need uh, the launcher. Uh, when downloading that, you can uh, you need of course the wrapper. Downloaded it, download here, click on a button, and then it will automatically download with the download file. Click save, and it will go to your downloads folder. I already put it to the desktop. Just double click it, then click agree, skip. And then you just move the wrap to the desktop. This is some very important stuff too, which you need to know. You have to change uh, stuff here. All right. Well, um, so uh, you have downloaded uh, the file from uh, from uh, World of Tanks, and you have this wrapper. You just double-click it, click Install Windows Software, click Choose Executable, and then you go to your uh, Downloads where that uh, thingy is. Well, I haven't in here. Well, then we get it, right? Thanks. World of Tanks. Go to the year region. Go to uh, play for free. Yeah, 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 yeah. I already did that. Or play for free. Oh. Game. Download game. This is European version. Click download. Here's the file. Okay, download the file. What's for me is European. For you, it will be. Okay, uh, um, what else? Thinking so for you, be United States or also European. Depends where you live. Well, I do, do Dutch. It's my language, but I do English for you guys. Why not? I'm not the baddest person. Next, 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 install. Well, set the installer file to uh, the World of Tanks uh, launcher. This should be installed too. And after installation, you um, you got this thingy. You just click, uh, yep, and click finish. And then um, you go to advanced and you have set uh, what launcher that access start executable. Okay, well that um, should be one thing. Now, that's not anything because if you run, run it now, it will work um, uh, first in windowed mode because, uh, yeah, you got this window thingy. But if you go to full screen, uh, well, 
if you try to well, configure that in the game, then it won't work. So you have to, if, and you see that also here, you have to set this thingy. You have to go to uh, show package on C drive, users, wine skin, and I will go and show you that way. I first have to launch it because otherwise it won't create a profile. But it probably will. Well, I first have to update. That's the first thing you have to do, of course, because I installed the, the launcher, but uh, the game itself isn't installed yet. So we have first update until 36, 2, 3, 7, 3 MB. It takes about uh, an hour, one and a half hour, just to, uh, to update and to install. For 10.8.2, uh, Snow, uh, Snow Leopard, no, Mountain Lion, uh, it uh, might uh, end at 99% and then uh, it, uh, you have to restart the game with command Q and start it again. That's a mountain lion thing. So lion users won't well, get this issue and snow leopard users either. So um, install it until uh, everything is installed and it says play here and just you can click play and just start the game just once. Well, I'm going to stop this because I don't have the time to just wait out another, well, one and a half hour. So, um, I've got, of course, my already said rapper thingy. Uh, so, just imagine you already installed everything here. And then you just right click it uh, and you played it once. It's very important. Just play it, uh, start the game once because otherwise it won't create a profile. So uh, just play it once. Then you have to, uh, to exit the game. Just well, get in the garage and then exit. And then just right click it and then uh, show package content to go to C and to um, program files, no, not the program files. You go to users, you go to your profile name, and then you go to application data, you see war gaming, and now you see because you first, well, because you start the game, uh, it will create a profile on World of Tanks here. If you don't start the game the first time, and you try to navigate straight to the, uh, uh, well, war gaming to net folder, you only see the World of Tanks folder here, and not the world of things, only the what. So you need to start the game once, otherwise you don't get that folder. So then you see a preference XML and you have to right click it and open it with the text editor. Do that and then you'll see this and you navigate to the graphics preferences and you have to make windowed, you have to change to false. It will say when you uh, do it for the first time, you see it true, so you make it false. And then you also need to change the full screen width and the full screen height to uh, the native resolution here. 1920, 1080, that's for my 512MB uh, graphic card. If you have a MacBook or something, uh, change it to 1280, 800. Just keep this 1024x768, it's not very important. It goes to the full screen width and the full screen height. If that's done, you're not finished yet. You have to do one more thing because this is the main video was this, but um, with the the eight dot zero uh, update of World of Tanks, um, the game stopped working properly for uh, the uh, the low end cards. So it gets zooming issues and it will crash there and uh, sometimes on starting the game it will crash. So, well, thanks to uh, Livia, one of the forum members, uh, he found out that um, there was a Russian site which uh, already uh, found out that the, the latest version 8.0 didn't have any compressed textures anymore. 
it's all decompressed and that's why it takes so much memory and stuff because i tested of course all the the complaints about the low-end cards and i found on my uh, macbook uh, 256 mb graphics card that I, that I had every time at uh, um, an out of memory error message at the end of the log file so that means that well out of memory means uh, there's not enough memory enough to run this game so uh, the compressed textures fixes that because that same compressed texture were available in in uh, the world of things 7.5 but in 8.0 it isn't anymore so we have to fix that well to fix that uh, we have to go back to the World of Tanks uh, game page and uh, I still have to put that link there ah oh, this fix yeah click on this one this link and you will see here and um, the textures and you just download that it's only uh, much MB here 78 MB uh, I've got it already there so download that extract it and you'll get that folder what you have to do is just copy this content copy Or you can just move it to uh, and you go here right click show package content go to C to games world of tanks and go to packages oh yeah res it's very important so you go to uh, world of tanks you go to res and then you go to packages and then uh, you have to move this into uh, into the the packages folder just like this well then you have to uh, well why not why the heck not oops I have to put it to packages yeah I said replace then what you have to do is uh, go back and go to wine skin go to advanced change this and move to the program files uh, program files games world of tanks you go to the rest you go to the packages packages and then you select the ahmx auto install 0 0.80 only click choose this one automatically will be selected and you click the test run button well what now happens this will take a few minutes and I got now black screen because of uh, the thingy here is um, it will uh, extract and uh, compress and decompress everything So this will take about a few minutes and unfortunately I cannot uh, <laughs> put it to pause so we have to wait the thing out so uh, you can uh, move your uh, video bar a bit <laughs> upwards until this is finished so uh, I will be uh, keep a little bit silent so be right back
after the installation uh, you'll get the screen back and you say just uh, cancel all right and then you click browse again and you go to program files oh no program files what do i have a program files and you put it back to uh, what launch.exe. Click choose. You can delete that one. And click this away. And then that's it. You're up and running to play this game. Double click it. And I'm going to show you quickly a quick game. And how smooth it runs. And at least it will run properly now for uh, the... Properly now for uh, the 250, 265 MB graphic cards, guys. Well, there we go. Let's start with my new tank. All right, let's fight. It's even so fast. Sometimes I'm even as first in the game. You see, I'm one of the first. And what's zooming? Well, I see here that I have 30 frames per second, but that's probably become because it's, I <laughs> I did um, did uh, the unpacking in an already unpacking status. You know what I mean? I only did uh, the fix, and then. Um, So when you do this, this will work fine. I already tested this, so. time So again, it will be 60 frames about with a 512 MB graphics card when you um, when you're applying the fix, and it will be around 30 frame. Well, 20 between 20 30 frames. Whoa.
Whoa! I had to wait for reloading. <laughs> As you can see, it looks fine. Well, so again, if you do it this way, then uh, it will be it runs awesome. So, thanks for watching. Hope to see you back on Polar Telecom. If you love the work I do, you can always donate to my website to become a premium member. And uh, yeah, support my hard work, um, spread the word, and see you back on Polar Telecom, and uh, happy gaming, bye bye.